Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and Aria Virgilio, Midget Hand, and Kristen. And that's Kristen, my best Midget friend. Hand. If you watched the last video that I posted on the skull cage, you saw that her and I worked together and we made skull cages. So this video, we are doing skull door knockers and I wrote it down because this is not my idea. This is not an original idea. I've got this from a channel called All Out of Fox to Give. And she did this really cool skull door knocker. So we decided to replicate it. We're gonna paint it the colors that we want, but pretty much using the same idea that she did. So if you're interested to see what we did, how we did this, stick around and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we have all of our supplies together and Kristen is too tall for the screen so you're not going to see the top of her her head. <laughs> and we're going to show you all the supplies we gathered which are a little bit different than the supplies that she had. So we have our board, our backer, our donut backer which is really cool. We like the shape of this. We have a skull, so we couldn't find the plastic skulls, so we bought the foam skulls, which are still available, but guys, get to the stores. If you wanna do these projects, you gotta get there now because everything is selling out really, really super quick. All right, we got these beaded, they're wire beads. <laughs> skull And I already cut mine open to see how hard it would be, and so now, Aria, can you take the beads off of this and put it in this cup? Okay. I'm helpful, see? Yes, you are helpful. And we've got these little bag, it comes in a little bag of skulls, and these are gonna be on the door knocker thingy. And then we have beads. So she used gold beads. We couldn't find the gold beads in the Dollar Tree, so I had actually picked this up not too long ago at Walmart. It had, it's a little bead it's kit. Special bead. And it was like $3. So any beads will do, just smaller in size, and we'll explain why. All right, we're going to use the wire cutter, we're going to use a bread knife, or the Dollar Tree actually has also, remember? A, a styrofoam a, knife. Yeah, a sty styrofoam. Yes. So that was really cool. I didn't pick one up. My husband told me that was dumb. So I said, well, then I'll keep using our bread knife. So yeah. there we go. All right, and hot this, glue gun. We need a hot glue gun. I'm gonna use a drill. She used a hot knife. I don't have a hot knife, so I'm gonna use my drill. And we have paint of your choice. We have different paint, acrylic paint colors. So we're gonna spray paint these black, but these are our exit colors. We have a bunch of different golds, some brown in there, so that we can like distress it out and make it look kind of older. So. You can't take the last one off. Where's the other beat? Ah, there it is. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna just Clip this in half with my little wire cutters. So you will need wire cutters for this. You can use other wire if you want, but this actually works out really well. So my there we go. My okay, so Ari's gonna take the beads off of here and put them in this cup. She's being very helpful. Yes, I am. Indeed. All right, we are going to cut off. I already did that because you said I prepped too much. Oh, she started prepping before <laughs> we started the video. And I was like, no, stop prepping. All right, so you're going to take this out. And you can save this for something else, maybe. Who knows? I don't know where to cut on this thing. All right. Careful. So... This has got a, this styrofoam one has a line, if you can see it, already in it. So you can use that as a guide to cut. Yep, just use this as a guide to cut. Um, start this way and just start sawing. Can I use sure. this? Can I use this? I'm no, kind of no, no, no. No, no, that's for our project. What? Don't bend it all up. That's for our project. Mm -hmm. But I can have you put, so here's the wire without the beads now. What is wire? What about this? That's sharp. No sharp things. And a little rusty. Yeah, this is actually a little rusty. So that's a little concerning. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to, this has a little hook on the end that I'm gonna just cut, cut off. Ooh, Ooh I want to. Harder than expected. Oh yeah, just keep sewing it. All right, you gonna put these beads on for us? You don't have to. Woo. This kind of looks like those alien things that they recently found that are like 2,000 years old. Alien you haven't things? seen that? No. Aliens? While Kristen is cutting her skull, I'm gonna drill holes in here. And that's what she um, used the hot knife for. She had the poker part, but I don't have that, so. Okay, I'll put this thing on. I'm just gonna drill. So, put what on the what? This is gonna be the whole video, just me cutting. <laughs> See, that's fine. Oh. I wouldn't say satisfying. Alright, one. Alright, one. Ooh, you're reading the whole table. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! This is Hot Mess Express over here. Oh yeah, some people make it look so easy. I give you the real deal, people. I give you all the problems that you can face when you're doing this stuff. I'm gonna chop my finger off on my video here. Okay. Two of these bad boys. Two what? He's not gonna have a chin. <laughs> oh! Oh boy. Oh. All right, now you can clean it up. Yeah. Can I have this? So now I'm gonna spend half the video trying to fish this through the other hole. Um. I can. You okay. think you can fish this through? Yeah. You gotta get it poked through the other hole. Yeah, all right, good luck. Okay. Would you say this is for beginners, Alicia? Because I'm a beginner and this is... Yes, this is, is beginner friendly. This is... <laughs> it's just messy. The styrofoam is very messy. Have a vacuum on super, hand. Super, super messy. I see the problem. I see the problem, Mom. You do? Uh, the hole is too small. The hole is a little small. Should I make it bigger? Should I make the hole bigger? Bigger is better. <laughs> bigger is not always better. Sometimes less is more. All right, so I'm going to change out my drill yes, bit. Yes, you should make it bigger. All right, we don't want it too big, though. Coming from this four foot nine over here. Four foot eleven, thank you very much. All right, are you blocking the video? Oops, sorry, right, guys. Let's go the next size up. Comment below if you think you could do this. They can do this because we're showing them. We can do it. Anybody can do it. I can't do it. Alright, let me make these holes bigger. And that should be easier to feed it through. Spray paint is one unit. Um, All right. All right, you're talking the video again. Um, don't straighten it out, honey. I need to. I don't know what's yeah. going to be. Is that your little on top? 
Yeah, I guess you might have to straighten it out a little bit and then kind of bend it again. we're waiting peep the background guys <laughs> all dollar tree items here yep i did a video on that all right here all right you can oh. start feeding the beads through and it doesn't matter which color right uh no because we're gonna be spray painting it yeah. oh my goodness look your turn Oh, yikes. It's Christmas in October. Oh my God, look, it's sticking to me. September. It's almost October. Can you do that? All right, here we go. What a mess. This is impossible. No, it's not. You got this. But if you don't want to do it, we'll do it, and then you can... I'll fish the beach, too, and you fish this part. Okay. Hmm. Let her feed the beads. Can you do this? Sure. This way, she can help. That's easy. You want to finish this one? enough so we don't need it to go the whole way right um most of the way because we're going to be sticking that in uh we're going to be actually measure it out because it's going to be going into the skull like this so you probably don't need to go you, and you can like put this in like as much as you want or as little as you want so figure out i guess how how far in and then do the beads based on that just, I guess, leave some room here, like that. Yeah. Put a few more on this side. Okay. Oh, boy. Right? Ooh. It looks like it's an easy job, but it is not an easy job. Because it's thick. The styrofoam is, like, really thick. That's what she said. <laughs> That's not what she said in front of an eight-year-old. Oh. Got it. I wonder if that styrofoam cutter at the Dollar Tree works better than a bread knife. What do you think? I don't know. We'll never know because you didn't get it because Brian said it was done. Should I, should I buy it? Yeah. I'm thinking I should. Only $1.25. I know, right? Do I really need another tool? The yeah. answer is always yes. Whoa, you kind of looks like the devil. Oops. Oh, get there. Get there. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. You took a chunk with you. Oh, Ooh. that was unexpected. Ooh. Yep, it is. Wear protective eyewear. I actually kind of like. If you're doing this. You're I actually kind of like the styrofoam better for a couple of reasons. Okay. Number one okay. is because you don't have to drill any holes into this guy to get the door knocker on. Number two, attaching it to the base, it's going to be much more secure because it's not hollow. So she had to attach hers around the seams where we can like reinforce all of this. And leave less on the seam so you don't see like a weld on there. Where hers looked like you kind of had like a weld. So I actually prefer the styrofoam one. Um, I mean, mine looks a little choppy, but that's okay. That's okay. It's just the bottom and part. And you can fill that in. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. This thing. All right. So she... Oh, yeah. Come over here. She sanded this down because there's like little grooves in there. 
I don't know that you're really going to see it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sand it. She sanded it. I'm going to skip a step and not sand it and hope that it works out for the best. <laughs> so uh, worst case scenario. Black will hide everything. Yeah, right? black. I mean, we're going to be, you know, there's going to be a skull over it and there's going to be like distressing and different colors going on. I don't really think you're going to see it. So I'm not going to do that. But we do have these holes that we can fill in with some hot glue. The biggest problem with this is that we should have kept this separate because now there's styrofoam all over it. <laughs> and I've got to get, we've got to get the styrofoam off of these before we Should before. we take a quick break and vacuum real quick? Yes, we're going to do that. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to clean up and then we will be back. Where's my little boot? There it is. Bloop. 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 Stop. Bloop. Stop. Let me hit the button, Alicia. Oh, hit the button. Let me hey, why is this not working? Let me hit the button. now oh, yay. all right we cleaned up and so now it's glue time we are going to glue our skeletons to our board Kristen's ready exactly. I think she's got hers all measured out and poked out and everything right I want to glue them no not yet no no glue for you no glue for you young padawan I'm not padawan is that World of Warcraft no, that's Star Wars. No. Oh. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. What? Why would you think it's more of a water So, just got to figure out where you want to put your knocker. World of Warcraft is a game that our mom plays, and it's really cool. It's animals and flying things and, and imaginary animals and stuff like that, and animals and animals and riding stuff and flying. Right. And Transporting and magic. So I got this in here. like here. You see where I put it? Yeah. But I need more beads. So do we have enough beads? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Alright, so more beads. Here we go. No beads. More beads. Here, you want to put some on this side while I feed this sure. one? To put the gold on here. Yeah, it doesn't matter what color you do. I'm just doing gold. Okay. One. Wait, how many did how many more did you put on? I didn't count, but until it gets to that point. One, two, three. We will put on three. All right, that's good. That works. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got about this much left. Can you see that? On each end to put in the styrofoam. Ah, uh -uh. what are you doing? Can I have that back, please? Thank you. Man, it doesn't match. It doesn't have to match. It's getting painted. All right. So how do we secure these in the foam? Hot glue. Oh. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Once you've got it and exactly where you want it. Push them in. Alright, I'm ready to glue mine. I'm just going to put a dab of glue on each end. Let it go, let it try. 
eventually let it dry. It's a little messy. I'm struggling to pour. Oh, I like yours. So, it still can move. I don't know that I want it to move. It's a door knocker. Just yeah. a decoration. It's just a decoration. It's a door knocker. I'm sure that's in there. Door knocker. It's a door knocker, yes. A Dollar Tree door knocker. Me! Dollar Tree door knocker. Me! Yes. I'm trying to fill this little space I have oh, here. Oh, you're going to need more glue. Glue sticks. Sorry, right, you're in my space. Oh, so you were fixing your phone. That's all you were just doing, is fixing your phone. You're making spider webs. You said it dries quickly. It does dry quickly. Anyway. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to pretty much center this. It's still not dry. It's oozing. It's oozing. You put too much. There's never enough hot glue. Oh, your nails! Alright. Your nails! I got them. Okay, all over. Alright, this is attached. Woo. These were the perfect beads. They were the perfect beads. So you said put hot glue in here too to fill the holes? Uh, just right here. There's little holes. We can put the hot glue in there. Hot glue is so messy. Just kind of put it in each hole. Oh, I need another stick. Or you could use wood filler. It's up to you. Filled the hole and just kind of smoothed it out with my finger while it was still kind of warm. And then she also, and I'm doing the same thing, she also glued the little skull so it didn't like spin around. Who did? I did it. No, the girl in the oh. video. <laughs> um, she glued the skull to the wire so that he didn't, because he like when you, he like flips around a lot, so you like want to keep him more. Oh look, he's actually making noise. Look. Who is it? <laughs> knock knock. How long? What? Your name is not Alicia. What? Who's playing my thing? Huh? What? Oh, Arya had um waffles. waffles. Jinx. I named my Sulcata tortoise Waffles. You did what? My Sulcata tortoise. His name was Waffles. You had a tortoise? I did. Oh, okay. Well, I forget. Wait, what? All right, so. What? Mine is ready to be spray painted, and I'm not going to show you that because I have to go down to my dungeon to do it. It is pouring raining outside today. So. Uh, if you want to, 
scuff this plastic guy up a little bit before with some sandpaper, you can do that. Uh, I'll probably do that off camera. I'm gonna scuff it up with a little bit of um, sandpaper and make this a little bit rough so that the spray, paint, the spray paint sticks to it. But overall, we're making progress. It's looking good. All right, we'll be back. Wait. You already started working without videotaping. Oh, I'm bad at this. <laughs> we are back after taking a break and ran to Starbucks while we were waiting for these to dry. So let me give you a close up. So it looks pretty cool, but the styrofoam doesn't like spray paint very much. So I think what we're gonna do is add some black in here. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up, but I'm and I'm gonna even cut some of it out because it took us quite some time to paint these. And so we went in with black acrylic paint and some paint brushes and filled in those white spots in the styrofoam that the spray paint just couldn't get into or was like repelling. Not really repelling because it didn't wipe off. It just wasn't getting in there, and I didn't want to overspray everything. So I wound up just you know, taking black with a small paintbrush and dabbing it all in there. And then after we did that, we went in with our different colors, our golds and browns and stuff, and we just kind of aged the rest of it. So I'm just going to put some filler music on and you can watch the process. And, you know, I'm sorry, guys, because this is really a bad angle. You can't see 100% of what we are doing so, um, but I am linking uh, the other woman's video down below so you can see how she did it. Now, of course, hers is a plastic skull and ours is styrofoam, so it doesn't behave the same way, but you get the idea. Alright, this is done. So now I am going to use that twine that I cut off in the beginning and I'm going to glue it and staple it to the back and use that as the hanger. So initially when I was cutting that off, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And then I was like, I need a way to hang this. And I'm like, you know what, let's use it as a hanger so you can hang it on a hook or hang it on a nail and so there you go make sure you save that twine okay so i glued it down and then made sure i used my heavy duty staple gun to staple that in and that is it guys that's it for this tutorial if you like this video give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe share comment i love to hear your feedback all those things help my channel to grow make sure to check out the other woman's video who inspired me to do this and give her a thumbs up like and subscribe to her channel too all right that's it for this week i will see you all next time bye guys